Hi, today we're going to be painting Briar stable mates look like my little ponies. I can't wait. Let's go. Yes, that's right. Today we're going to be painting Briar Horse Dream Horse paint sets, including the two new unicorn sets. We're going to use this one for Twilight Sparkle and also one for Rarity. So, well, before we open that, let's open up this other box with all the other horses in it. Okay, let's see. Opening. Okay, take out the horses. Look at, oh, this one looks spunky. Maybe that could be Rainbow Dash. Oh, look, it even has a baby. It's so cute. Oh, look, and things you can color in as well. All right, let's start opening this one so we can paint Twilight Sparkle. Here's our model. Beautiful. And I'm going to use this purple paint. Ah, oh, she's okay. She's okay. So let's put something down so we don't paint all over the table. And let's start painting her body. Paint, paint, paint. Paint this side. Paint that side. Paint under here. All right, and a quick second coat once that dries, just to make sure we got everywhere. And now while I'm not using my brush, I'm gonna keep it in this cup of water so it doesn't dry out and get all hard. Now that that's dry, I'm gonna paint her mane and her tail. I'm gonna use this pink color. And I'm gonna use a darker pink later, but first let's just use that pink color to paint the stripe in her hair and her mane and her tail. Okay, and don't forget to get the other side of her tail as well. Now I'm gonna mix that same pink, but with a black to try to make it darker, to, to try to make it like that dark purple color she has. Okay, let's see how that looks. Okay, not too bad. Paint a stripe here and stripe there around the pink that we just did. Again, make sure to get both sides. And her mane, of course. Now her cutie mark, I'm just using the gray to make like that background star shape that she has. Okay, and then the little sparkles that she has around that. Okay, now I'm gonna use the pink color to make like the main star, just paint stripes. Mm, there we go, that, you can kind of see that star shape now. Okay, I'm gonna kind of cheat and use white paint that I had at home. But don't worry, because I'm going to show you lots of other methods for painting eyes. So, let's see here. I'm going to paint the white, and I'm going to make it a little bigger to kind of try to match the cartoony look. Okay, got both eyes. Now, I'm going to just touch up those sparkles I did with this white paint. Though, obviously, just leave it gray, because that's what comes with the, the set, if that's all you have. It's no big deal. Now, I'm going to use black paint to make the pupils on both sides of her head, or both eyes. <laughs> and I'm also gonna use black to kind of make the like eyeliner, eyelash look that they have. Oh, and there we go, there she is. Now we just need to make her wings. And to do that, I'm gonna get a piece of construction paper. I'm gonna fold it in half and draw a wing shape on it, like that. Cut it out and open it up. And because I folded it, the wings are stuck together. Now I need to paint them so they actually match her body. I'm gonna use that same purple paint that I used before. There, okay, I had to let that dry. And then I'm gonna glue it on. And there she is, there's our finished Twilight flying away. Oh, she looks majestic. She looks like a Princess Twilight Sparkle if I ever saw one. Oh, oh, oh she, okay, she's okay. Oh, okay, bye Twilight Sparkle. <laughs> Okay, let's move on. Now we're gonna paint Applejack, but we don't have orange, so we're gonna have to make it. So I'm gonna use this pink and this yellow, because that's as close as we have to red, the pink. And we're gonna mix those together, and it actually makes a pretty, pretty nice orange color. So I'm gonna paint it all over Applejack now. Again, I'm gonna do two coats just to make sure she's completely covered, and there she is. Now I'm gonna use the yellow paint to do her mane and her tail. Paint, paint, paint. Getting her hair. Getting the rest of her hair. Okay, oh, that's looking really nice. I like it. Ah, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> now I'm gonna use the back of the paintbrush dipped in the pink paint, because that's as close as we have to red, to make the apples, just three dots on her side. And I'm gonna use 
just the very tip of the brush dipped in the green to try to make just like a little straight line at the top of the apples. Okay, make sure to do it on the other side. And then I'm gonna use that same green paint to do her eyes. Instead of using the white, I'm just gonna paint them green because she has green eyes. And I'm gonna use the black again to make pupils. There she is, and on that side. And I think she looks fantastic. Oh, don't forget, she has those freckles. So I'm gonna use the gray paint to paint her freckles. You can kind of see them there. Make sure you get both sides. And there is our lovely Applejack. Oh, and here comes Twilight Sparkle to join her friend. All right, let's move on. Let's open up this other unicorn so that we can paint Rarity. Now, because Rarity's white, I'm just gonna leave the horse white, but I'm gonna paint the gray on her hooves just so her body's not completely boring. And it looks like she got a nice pedicure. I'm gonna use the purple now to do her mane and her tail. This side and the other side and her tail. Okay, looking good, Rarity, looking good. Okay, oh, there she is, so pretty. I'm gonna use that same purple to paint her eyes again, just like I did with Applejack. Well, except that was green. Now I'm gonna use this lighter purple to paint her cutie mark. Again, dip the back of the brush in it, though this time I'm gonna try to make them, instead of perfectly round, kind of elongated, kind of like oval shapes, to look like the diamonds, and there she is. Oh, here's Twilight Sparkle and Applejack. All right. Time to make Pinkie Pie. So I'm just gonna use the pink paint, obviously. Paint all over Pinkie Pie. Paint, paint, paint. Do, 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 do. Paint Pinkie Pie. <laughs> and of course, as usual, I'm gonna do two coats because we want her to look nice and pink. Yeah. Oh, and you know what? These eyes are really bothering me. So I'm gonna try to redo them. For now, I'm just gonna paint over them with the purple while we let Pinkie Pie dry. So just covering with purple. And now let's go back to Pinkie Pie. I'm gonna mix the same pink with the purple to try to make a little bit darker, different colored pink. Kind of, you know, to like look like her hair. It isn't too different. You can see it in person a little better, but it's a slightly different shade. Of course, you could just add in more purple. You could add in a little bit of black to make it darker. Whatever you think would look good. Ah, oh, Pinkie Pie. <laughs> okay, now I'm dipping it in again, the end of the brush, just to make circles for her cutie mark. Two blue circles and one yellow circle. Now obviously, make sure you clean off the back of the brush before you dip it in the different colors, or otherwise you'll have green, because yellow and blue make green. I'm gonna use the blue to do her eyes. And there's our Pinkie Pie. She looks like she's ready to party. Let's go back to Twilight Sparkle. I'm gonna use that same darker color I used for her mane, but you could just use black, honestly, and just do little circles this time. Just regular sized eyes, and I think she looks a lot better now. Fluttershy time. All right, Fluttershy, let's go. Uh, okay, obviously we're gonna be using yellow for Fluttershy. Paint her whole body. Painting, painting, painting. Get all around. Okay, she's looking good. Now I'm gonna use that pink color again for her mane and her tail. Do, 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 do. Make sure to get every little spot. Oh, careful Fluttershy, careful. Now get her tail, get all over, get both sides. Oh, nice. I'm gonna use that same pink, dipped in the end of the brush, dipped in the pink, just to make little circles, four right next to each other, to try to make like a butterfly wing look. Now I'm gonna use the green to make like a straight line in the middle, to kind of look like the butterfly body. And if you're feeling lucky, you can do two stripes on top for the antenna. The same green is gonna be for her eye and that's it. Oh, now Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash is gonna be blue, obviously. Painting all over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
paint, 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 paint. Okay, I'm gonna dip the paintbrush, the back of it, in the gray color to make the clouds, just two little circles. And then I'm gonna make a straight line of yellow right under that cloud to make a lightning bolt. Then I'm gonna wash off the brush and dip it in the pink and make another straight line right next to the yellow. You should definitely let these dry first though because I didn't and then I smeared them completely. So before you paint each part of that cutie mark, let it dry. Now is her mane and I'm gonna use all these colors that I have open right here. Pink, blue, green, yellow, purple. Okay, I'm gonna start with the pink. I'm gonna start right between her ears on her mane. Though I feel like every time I see a picture or rainbow dash, it's kind of different what, what color, her, what order the color of her mane is, but whatever. Now I'm gonna paint a streak in her tail. Now moving on to yellow, the very front of her mane. And on her tail, just a yellow stripe right above the pink. Make sure you do both sides of her tail. Again, just a yellow stripe. Oh, blurry. Oh, that's better. Now I'm gonna do green right behind that yellow. I mean, right behind the pink that we did in her mane. Okay, and again, now a green stripe right above that yellow. Moving on to blue, just the same blue as her body behind the green that we just did in her mane. And now a stripe of blue on both sides of her tail. And lastly, purple. Just the rest of her hair, or the rest of her mane is gonna be purple. And then the remaining spot on her tail. Paint that purple. And there we go. There's Rainbow Dash, ooh, I like it. Now we have to do wings for both Rainbow Dash and for Fluttershy because we didn't do those yet. Again, I'm just taking construction paper, folding it in half and drawing on a little wing design. Then I'm gonna cut that out exactly like I did with Twilight Sparkle. And because I put the two pieces together, I have both of them done in one cut. Now I'm going to paint them blue for Rainbow Dash and yellow for Fluttershy. Even though that one's already yellow, I want it to match a little better. Glue them on. Just regular Elmer's glue will work or any glue that you have at home. Okay, there we go. There's Rainbow Dash. And here's Fluttershy. Okay, I gotta get those stuck. And there we go. Fluttershy is done. There's Rainbow Dash flying in. Applejack. Twilight Sparkle. Pinkie Pie in the back. And Rarity. The main six all here. Well, that's it guys. I hope you had fun watching the video. I had so much fun making them. I have to say, I think Rainbow Dash is my favorite, but let me know which one's your favorite in the comments. So please remember to like and subscribe and check out our next video. Thanks guys. Oh yeah, I'm awesome.